A time loop is always a fun concept to see in works of fiction. You see it in movies like Groundhog Day, it's been in animes like ReZero, even games. Deathloop, a fantastic game by the Dishonored devs, all have a character stuck in a time loop or they die and they revert back to a certain time. And it's just interesting to see characters try to achieve something. They fail miserably, but they have another chance, usually using new information to change the way they approach the situation. You could do a lot as an author with that kind of setup. And I went out of my way to look for this a little bit. I was like, I wonder if there's anything out there like that. And the skeleton soldier failed to defend the dungeon, sometimes called couldn't protect the dungeon with the skeleton soldier in front, or sometimes just the skeleton soldier part. It's because of the translation probably that the names got a little mixed up. If you search it online, all of it will pop up. And I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna refer to it as Skeleton Soldier. I think it is an amazing time loop story done well. Our character will go out and just try to protect. He's just trying to protect the one person, his necromancer. And you often see him fail and it's just, oh wow, yeah, I guess you could die like that. I guess this could go wrong. Or sometimes it's completely left field. Like maybe this world isn't as simple as it seems. I'm just another reader and let's review Skeleton Soldier. But before we begin with the review, just take a moment to like, subscribe, maybe even comment. This story begins with our main character on the ground and he is dying. His owner, his necromancer, stabbed through the heart. And he is getting destroyed as well. I mean, it's a lost fight. I mean, they throw his head over to his owner and it's just like, yeah, easy kills. Like they're just clearing out a dungeon. It's nothing to them. And he's reminiscing all the good times. I'm sorry, I wasn't able to protect you. And that's kind of like the theme of this novel. He fails to protect his owners and he has to find a way to do better pretty much he's just thinking if only i was a little stronger that's that's kind of the thing and kind of like solo leveling where our hero dies in a certain way conditions have been met something's activating in the background and now we're dark nothing's going on he's thinking he's dead and he's hearing some sounds okay what's happening we see our main character again he's coming out of a grave he thinks maybe this is the afterlife am i dreaming no for some reason this place he's at looks familiar we got a little shadowy figure in the background who could that be he's looking at his stats okay level one stats he's got a system now L little system thrown in there not that big of a important aspect of this novel really it's not really a system novel and then we see that that person in the background is his necromancer rubia woken from his slumber and you know he's just thinking if this is rubia she's the necromancer in training from 20 years ago this is the moment he was raised from the dead the very first moment of his new life which is kind of like wait a minute we've got 20 years of history of knowledge that he has stored away in his head. How will that play a part in this story? You know, Ruby is a little awkward. He's She's a necromancer in training and he's just off looking like, am I dreaming if not? And Ruby is thinking he's not able to talk, but this is a very fun moment because he's just sitting here thinking like, he's just trying to catch up. Like, okay, 20 years in the past, this is crazy. And then, and then he remembers. This girl's gonna get killed by bandits. I shouldn't concern myself that she'll die at the hand of bandits. And then, wait a minute, uh-oh, our main character has some trauma. He thinks, die, my necromancer died. He flashes back to her dying face when they threw his skull over at the body. And he's like, I've changed my mind. No, 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 I can't let her die. And he picks her up and he's just like, protect Al protect you. I'm not going to go any further because I think that scene afterwards is a nice surprise to read and this story is set up very well, but let's talk about what you can expect from that story. So first off, I want to address what many people may think when they have a protagonist with a female. There isn't really romance at all because you got to keep in mind, he's a skeleton. He's got no fleshly desires, as you could say. So Rubia or any other necromancer he comes across isn't really going to be a love interest. It's played more like a friendship. Sometimes even he's like a kind of a father figure to his necromancers. 
and I say necromancers because there are multiple women that end up being his companion throughout this series and they act as motivations for him to like find out what's wrong with his world what's why is he coming back what's the secret it it plays out very much like a mystery oftentimes you will think he's going in the right direction and all of a sudden hey this direction this path that i've died multiple times to pursue it's just not the correct one i need to find another way i need there's got to be some kind of information in another route in this world because there's very many routes and you will often see characters appear again after meeting them in one iteration of his life and their lives are completely different due to not meeting our skeleton soldier sometimes it's for the better sometimes it's for the worse and it really weighs on our skeleton soldiers mind like how can i be better to improve the lives of the necromancers and just the world around me i think that's a very important detail our main character cares so much about these necromancers because he's seen what it's like to lose so much in his first life and now he's been given multiple chances to do better also this world is very much a classic medieval world where you got monsters knights that fight monsters but and this is important as we get further in the story the magic of the world many things start to point to hmm there's a big secret going on that we're just not privy to just yet and there's also people that are extremely strong in this world like to a frightening degree where it looks like our main character may never be able to beat them and that is interesting because well it, it's a story he's got to find a way to get stronger and like when i say there's paths in this world in this story there's so many different paths that our main character takes so many different attempts and it's just interesting because like he really does have an effect on some of their lives in this path and then you get to the end of the path and you're like oh no this one had a lot of good stuff but in the end it still wasn't good enough there's got to be somewhere better you can go and it's just so interesting seeing the characters you really grow to be attached to them even though their memories get wiped when he dies and he's just like he remembers all he went through with them. It's kind of like ReZero where he's forever indebted to the person that saved him, but she has no clue why he's she he's trying to help her. And I really like that about this story. I really think the mysteries are well written. The answers we get feel satisfying is the word I want to use there. There was also the system that I briefly mentioned in the chapter one kind of like recap. The system doesn't really play the biggest part in this novel. It's just kind of like, yeah, it's there. It's very much a background thing. It does give him a few goals, but most of the goals he gets are ones that he finds himself. Like, he'll be like, oh, I explored this in one life. I never really found an answer. Let's see if we can dig deeper. And that's the kind of stuff I really like to see. Overall, I would give Skeleton Soldier about an 8 out of 10 on like a manga for something just to try out. It's going to be a fun read. And I really think there's not many stories like it where we have a monster main character. It's not an isekai and it's just someone who rose from the dead he's always been a zombie most all his memories are from when he's a zombie i think that's a very important part he does not know who he is the reason he's called skeleton soldier is that's all he is he's just a skeleton soldier he doesn't have a name there's no person behind that it's just skeleton soldier and that's one of the major mysteries throughout the course of this novel highly recommend you give it a try if you made it this far thanks for watching 
um, my suggest subscribing, maybe leaving a comment on what you'd like me to read, give a review on. I'm always open to trying, reading new things. And oh, well, maybe maybe watch that video that's popped up on the screen. I don't know what that video is. I haven't decided yet, but it's going to be either the newest video or something I choose. <laughs>